Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna help you fix WhatsApp notifications not working. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. I'm on my iPhone, you can do the same steps on Android as well. Now, let's get into our settings and we'll go through a bunch of different settings to make sure those notifications are working. Now, the very first thing that I want you to do is at the side of your iPhone, there is a little toggle button that changes it from vibrate mode to on or the audio on. So from silence to on. So make sure you pull this towards the face of the screen so that you toggle it on. This kind of helps everything in terms of the notifications actually ringing to your phone and you hear the notifications chime. Now the next step that we'll do is we'll scroll down until we find notifications here. So we'll tap on notifications. And at the very top, you can see show previews, the second option. So I'm gonna tap on that and make sure it says always. So you always wanna show these previews, the, which are notifications from WhatsApp. So let's go back and let's find WhatsApp down here. Let's scroll down until we find WhatsApp, here it is. So we're gonna find WhatsApp make sure that this is toggled on and everything is turned on. So you want sounds, badges, show and CarPlay. You want everything to be toggled on so that you get a notification whenever you get a message or call on WhatsApp. Now at the very bottom, it has WhatsApp notification settings, which, so we've changed the settings for notifications on the iPhone itself but the WhatsApp app has the notification settings as well. So let's go to that, let's tap on that button. And you wanna again, make sure everything is turned on. What you can do at the bottom here is hit reset notification settings. This kind of resets everything to be toggled on so that you can make sure it's not an issue within the WhatsApp app itself. So we've gone through those steps. We'll go back into our settings here and we'll scroll down until we find battery. So right above privacy is battery. The next step is we're gonna make sure it's not low power mode turned on. So if low power mode is turned on, then it limits those notifications and those notifications getting to your iPhone. So make sure that is toggled off because that will prevent any kind of notifications. So once we've done that, that's a great step, is we will go into, let's see, general here, and then there it is, background app refresh, right under iPhone storage, background app refresh, and then we want to toggle this on. So change it to Wi-Fi and cellular data, and go down until you find WhatsApp and make sure WhatsApp is toggled on. What this means is that even though WhatsApp might not be visually seen on your iPhone, WhatsApp can refresh any kind of messages that it gets and all that stuff. So it can use the cellular or Wi-Fi data to be able to get those messages and show you the notifications as they come to you. So turn on this background app refresh and the very last step that we'll go through is just to turn off our iPhone and turn it back on. So tap and hold the volume up and the power button until you see the slide to power off. And then just go ahead and turn off your phone and then restart it, turn it back on. And that should help with those notifications. Go through all these steps and you should have your notifications working on WhatsApp. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.